What is up guys, it is Barry Michael Doyle here and thank you so much for picking up this course on SvelteKit. Svelte is an amazing web development framework that was recently voted the most loved web framework with the most satisfied developers in a pair of industry surveys. That's their words, not mine. You can read more into it on their official website. And here we are on their official website. Now, before we get started, I just want to clear some things up. I'm assuming that you have a very good understanding of how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript works before starting this course. So please do not complain and say I'm moving too quickly through the basics if they literally are the basics. Please don't pick up this course if you are not fluent in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Secondly, I don't expect you to have any working skills with Svelte before getting started on this course. However, they have made a really cool tutorial right over here which I highly recommend you check out. It's it's great, like check this out. They tell you all about it. Uh, it's very like free code camp style of going through it. You get stuff that they tell you to do. And if you can't figure out how to do it yourself and change things, you can hit show me and they'll show you just like that. And you can go on. And it's really a great way for you to familiarize yourself with the Svelte syntax. Uh, it's not absolutely necessary that you go through this, but I do recommend it. I think it will benefit you in the long run. Anyway, before we get started, we need to download Node.js. So here's the Node.js.org website. You just go here, you click on long-term support. It will recognize your operating system. I'm on Windows at the moment, but you could obviously be using Mac or Linux as well. And just hit the long-term support, download that, follow the steps, you're good to go. To test that it's working, I've opened up my console here. This is a terminal on Windows. It's called the command prompt on Linux and Mac, it's called the terminal. I'm just going to hit node-v and that should tell me what version I've got downloaded. I've got version 16.13, so we are good to go there, which is fantastic. Secondly, we want to run Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Uh, there's code.visualstudio.com, that's a website. You can go here, again, they'll recognize your OS and give you a big download button and just download the stable build. And just go through the installation process there yourself. I've already got it set up. Now, to get started, we're going to kit.svelte.dev. You guys don't have to be, I'm just showing you this. Uh, but essentially, they've got a great, you know, where we begin, etc. documentation, everything. We want to create a new app. So we're just going to start with the getting started part of this. We're going to run npm init svelte at next, and then the name of your app. So I'm going to go to my command prompt again. I'm going to type in CMD, open this up. And uh, again, if you're on a Mac and you don't know how to open this thing up, it is the command space key and just type in terminal. So I don't want to run this in my home directory. So I'm going to CD into dev, which is a folder that I have. That's where I keep all my projects. And then because I've got node installed, this will work. I can run npm init svelte at next. And then finally our app name. Now we're going to call our blog surf spots. So I'm going to call the app surf spots as well. And that's going to start running a whole process where it creates everything. It will ask you a bunch of questions. So as you can see here, I've got two options. The one is Svelte Kit demo app. Don't do that one right now. You can do that in the future just to see how they like to set things up. We're going to do a skeleton project, which is an empty project. You've got to use the arrow keys for that. Now, you can choose yes or no to use TypeScript. I'm going to say yes. Now, if you don't know TypeScript, don't worry. This course does not expect you to know TypeScript. Uh, it's pretty much just JavaScript with a bunch of extra little rules that make your life a bit easier or difficult, depending on who you ask. We're going to say yes here. And for the TypeScript stuff that does happen, I will, I will clear up the air there. Secondly, do you want to add ESLint for code linting? Yes, we're going to do that. And prettier as well for code formatting. Yes, we want to do that too. Now, I mean, you don't have to worry about those. Like, they just set up automatically. It's better to have them than not have them. I don't even have prettier set up for or to save formatting and stuff. But we'll talk about that later. Anyways, very quickly, the project is ready. We're good to go. The next steps are to open CD surf spots and run npm install. And then the step three is optional over here. So just while we're here, before we go into VS Code, Let's just see if we can get the project running. So I'm going to hit CD surf spots. And that takes me into my surf spots directory. Next up, I'm going to run npm install. This is very important. A lot of people forget this step. 
Uh, this is to install your node modules. The app won't run if you don't install your node modules. I'll show you in the project folder later what that actually does, but that is something we can worry about once we actually get our app up and running. So this is gonna take some time. It will download the node modules and install them into your project. And I'm gonna skip forward to when this is actually done. Just as this is going, I wanted to mention, if you have any comments, please ask so in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer you accurately. Fantastic, it's worked. It's run everything, it's added all the packages and cool, zero vulnerabilities found. That is not like creating a new React app. Now the final step we have to do is a step four up here. We have to run npm run dev dash 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 open. Now what that does is it runs the dev script. I'll show you about this later inside the package JSON. And this open option opens a new tab in your browser. So because we're selected on this browser tab here, it's gonna open a new tab once we run it. So we're gonna hit run and it runs fairly quickly. There we go, it's good to go. And we have a Svelte kit project here. I'm gonna zoom that in a bit. And this is amazing. It just like, there's our project. It's empty, it works. And this is a great place for us to get started with actually coding. So in the next video, we'll jump into what the code base looks like, etc. See you then.